Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog. Welcome to the live stream. Playing on Scorched Earth today, mostly. We'll probably be making a run back to the island for some Baryonyx. Ah, to do some cave runs and stuff like that. Um, just uh, got back from uh, grabbing a drop. Got a couple saddles and some cluster grenades, which I haven't used yet, actually. So let's uh, introduce these Carnos to a couple cluster grenades. I'm pretty sure I got them. Let's see what I got here. Did we get cluster grenades? We did. We get three here from a yellow drop. And let's see what these little bad boys can do. And since I did it, put it on my hot, I did put it on my hot bar here. I don't really need to. Wait, what? Okay, they're just exploding. Weird. All right, that's not how cluster grenades are supposed to work. Let's try this one more time. Okay, that's not how they used to work. They used to didn't blow up when, <laughs> when you threw them. That makes no sense at all. Okay, I don't know if those are bugged or if that's the way they work in Ark Survival Ascended. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, so on the server, I uh, ran around. Uh, we're playing on our community server here. And uh, if you're interested in joining, there's uh, information in the description on how to do that. And I set up... Um, teleporters at all the caves and then also there we've got a couple by the wyvern trench and one by the red obelisk so should uh, make some travel time uh reduce travel time quite a bit um i did make some progress on my base here uh and got that going so we're going to enclose this area and then that's probably going to be about it for our base um so yeah just uh places to stack um, wyverns and whatnot for breeding purposes. I might put in another floor in here, but probably not. Maybe a shelf in the back. I think kind of like a shelf kind of floor in the back will be good for breeding some stuff. I think that's all the breeding we're going to do on Scorched Earth. I had initially planned to bring my UDs back um, to get their breeding going, but uh, yeah, it doesn't, uh, I don't think I'm going to do that yet because it's, uh, I don't know. It's a little too much. We're going to be trying to breed at least uh, poison, uh, which we got a top, and lightning wyverns down below. And I might try for two different um, mutation lines. It looks like we've got health in both right now as our first useful mutation. So we're going to do that. I was, yeah, I would really like to build up some super ones and actually have three lines going: health, um, melee, and stamina. Um, I was kind of hoping for stamina or melee to be my first mutation, but we got health, so we're rolling with that. So actually, let's go ahead and look and see if we get any new mutations. We'll go through part of our lightning line here and look for uh, some mutations. So we got to watch our, our weight here. And I've got to get used to the way things roll this time. Now, we've got... By the way, hello, Bone Dust, and hello, the first. Sorry about that. I forgot to say hello over there. Said hello to Bone Dust and uh, Green Bean. Hey, Dyer's on too, and uh, Trav also are playing on the server right now. So, hello to all you guys this morning. So, right now we don't have to hatch eggs because we've got. Oops. Grab this guy. We got to turn off our egg collection systems here. So, we've got the AA. Egg collector, which doesn't really seem to work very often, but I think it might be just me who's not using it correctly. I think Traff pointed out that um, it doesn't collect eggs if they're being incubated. So if you have a lot of air conditioners around, then uh, yeah, then it's probably not going to work. So let's see here. Drop this off over here. Hey, Trav in, uh, in chat now. Hello. And, uh, oh, I got to do one thing over here. And let's see if Twitch is working. Just want to make sure that's working. It is working. Always have to update the player in Twitch. It goes offline for me quite often. Okay. So now that those, uh, we didn't actually turn that off, did we? We just, we just picked up the eggs. I forgot to actually turn the, uh, the guy off so that's okay 
Um, but what I was saying, oh yeah, we don't really have to hatch eggs out now because the awesome spyglass updated and tells us what the stats are going to be for the hatched egg. So that's pretty darn handy. It's going to save a lot of time and actually a ton of space. So there we go. We can turn off that uh, over raptor there. Hey, Green Bean on Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Glad everybody could make it today. Glad everybody's having fun on the community server. They were doing uh, boss fights yesterday on the island, trying to get all those uh, Ingrams and stuff from the dragon and the other other bosses. So I'm trying to do this without hitting any buttons here. Let's see how successful I am at this. So this could go pretty quick if I actually get in a good rhythm here. So, all right. So now we can look at here and see what we got. Uh, so we are breeding a 203 and a 205 right now because we got two points into health, I believe. Yeah, there's the two points into health. So we're just looking for four points into health now, and that's about it. So if we don't see four points into health, then these are all garbage. So I can collect these. And then we can put them in the trash can. So get rid of these guys. I really don't like the trash can because it makes me paranoid. Uh, I also don't need to be carrying this side around, this around, or this around. And we'll keep the other stuff for now. I think that will be just fine. So we'll just go through our lightning eggs here and we'll do the poisons another time. But the poisons are stacking up. <laughs> I think we're going to go for using Lightning Wyverns in the Manticore fight. Um, and I think we're probably going to do that next Sunday. I think we're going we're gonna to attempt our first one. What did I just drop down here? Arrows. Oops. Alright. So now I can just hit O, I, I, O. There we go. And then <laughs> I hit O twice. Apparently I can't help but... <laughs> Double tap there. I don't know what's up with that. All right, and then we can check our stats. So we got two, 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 and two. So no double mutations yet into health. So health is kind of, is obviously very useful, but I think probably the most useful one, at least with the stats I have right now, my stats, if I'm looking at it right, my stamina is the worst stat on both poison and lightning right now. So we got 27 is the best into stamina and 29 into health. Or excuse me, 27 on the lightning and 29 on the poison. So we're still searching for. Can I still move? Yes, I can. Um, still searching for better stats in the wyvern trench because we can add those back in later, which is nice. I wish there was a way to just sort of scatter these all in like some kind of perfect pattern because that would be great. A great time saver. So, so we got 41 points into health on these guys. So the health is actually already pretty good for, for uh, wyverns. So let's dump these off. All right, did we have, I think we had one more, one or two more eggs to check yet. So the trash can's already disposed of these. Which is handy, but again, it frightens me that I might put something really good in there or the wrong eggs. The wrong eggs or some ascendant tool of some sort. And there we go. I think we're going to do this, check our, our last ones here. For some reason, the text is ginormous on this one. So it's a little buggy. Oh, this is a 15. I don't know how that got in the mix. That's not my strategy over there. So definitely don't want that 15. Except it seems to want to stick around for some reason. I don't even know why I would have collected a 15. Mistakes were made. So over here, I've got a bunch of stats that I need to check out too. And since I'm doing this, let's let's just focus on the lightning wyverns. So these are wild caught, and we just got to look for stats 
that are better than what we have right now. And actually, some of them might, might be the better stats. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute, I guess. That I still have to hatch out and uh, add to the line, but that won't be for a while. Okay, so do we have anything better with stamina, first of all? Oh, here's a 30 stamina. So that's better than our 27 is what our, we got right now. Health is not as good. Um, 30 weight. We still want to have good weight, but we're not going to go for mutations. I guess our 35 is our weight that we have right now. Whoa. Is that really 42 points into stamina on a 160? Ooh, that's nice. That I'm happy to see. Okay, and then this is all trash. And this one, that one's got 39 melee. What are we at for melee? 35. Okay, so that's a great improvement. And then you're a great improvement. And then you are a bust. So let's go throw out these two, and then we'll hatch. Um... Yeah, we'll just leave these out to hatch, actually. And then we'll just cryopod the babies and add them in later. I think that'll be the best strategy for right now. Still need a bunch of creatures out here. We're kind of left with um, the harder tame. So we've got to do the phoenix. We've got to do the faso or whatever the hell that thing is. And... Uh, Rock golems. So we definitely want to add those all to the collection before we go. And is there anything we should bring back to the island? Oh, this, all this ammunition is berserk. I don't even know why I'm bothering with it. But i got to dump this cloth. Um, let's see. Maybe blueprints. Bring, out, bring back some blueprints with us. I don't think, I don't think we're going to use any of these. I don't know. If, we'll probably not use any of these. Oh, we got the lime entry. Uh... Rock golems. What is this? Pariser. Eh. We'll do our transfers another time, I guess. Are we getting... Uh... Oh, yeah. I don't even need this guy anymore. Hold on. Boop. Boop. All right. So if... Hopefully this works. Hopefully I don't die. Is this a red ob? It is. So we can just do this now. I don't actually have to fly there. So we got these teleporter bases set up, set up these little outposts here so people can get a drink. They can uh, store some stuff if they need to. Got the little ice box here for AA. Some of them have refrigerators. And uh, yeah, so that's what we got. A little pla safe place for people. Hopefully I don't need to f fight off anything over here. We do get cap roads and kind of bad stuff. What kind of level are you? 55. But anyway, all right, let's head back to the island real quick. So I'll travel to another server. I've got a couple people over there. Uh, there we go. Frog swamp. And away we go. If you're just starting out and you're absolutely brand new to the... Uh, to ASA, I'd definitely start off on the island first before you... I would not immediately transfer at level 1 to Scorched Earth. Okay, so we're just going to spawn at our base. Let's see how things are going in here. Let everything catch up for a second. Kind of seeing how my metal is coming along here. Not that great. All right, so we're after Baryonyx, and I got to remember where the heck I put him. I think I see him right here. So I bred four Baryonyx, four Scorched Earth. Did I bring any saddles with them? This one's got a saddle. Let's see what saddle it has. All right, there he is. Saddle is a 235, so that should be all we need. Um, and then I should bring some cooked fish meat because that is something I don't have and we're going to need. Yep, there we go. That'll be enough for right now. I mean, bring a little bit more. Why not? I got the weight for it, right? Okay, we should bring a couple extra saddles. That's going to be over here. 
So let's do berries. Let's see what else we got. These aren't as great as saddles, but they're still darn good. So we'll grab two of those, and that should... Yeah, let's just grab them all. I got a really good blueprint for those guys. So anything I still need to do here? Probably not. Let's just go check the feeding situation, make sure people got food. There's some berries. There's some meat. It's actually spoiling. Let's go check our dudes over here. He's looking good. He's looking good. And then... I might as well go check on our, our things over here. What do we got? 39 of 45. Oh, that's the... Let's just take a look. Oh, that's all flowers. <laughs> all right, let's go check the other flowers as well. Now let the bees just stop biting me. Oh, you know what I should bring, too, actually? Is I should bring a dead on. So let's just see. We got 24. I really filled these things up. Okay, so they're good. Tons of rare flowers. So we shouldn't have any dead beehives. So that's good. And then now that we've got our little weird automated arc fertilizer thing. We shouldn't have to be worrying about our plants dying. Not that that would be a big deal at all. <laughs> it might be a little bit better, actually. All right, let's bring a day on so we, because we're going to have to heal up these pigs. And, uh, yeah, so that'll be good. I should check. Oh, I really need to. I'm sure it's fine, but we got to check our fuel situation we have enough for 191 days okay <laughs> i think we'll be okay um let's bring one of our boss level pigs we should have a couple here yeah we'll bring one of the overseer pigs and that should be good so let's head back to scorched earth all right travel to another server is there anything else i want to do here though while i'm here trying to think anything I need to bring probably not um, actually if we're gonna do caves and such we should probably have a decent shotgun uh, let's see I'm not sure if we have one let's find out definitely got some good sniper rifles oh yeah there we go uh, we'll bring this 388 I think we'll bring this shotgun ammo We'll reload. And I believe we got Antidote back at the base, but... We got tons of it here, so let's just bring a whole stack of that. I think that should be pretty good. I hope everyone's doing well this Sunday. I'm doing pretty well. I miss my all my breeders and stuff out here. It's so lonely. All right. All right, so, Frog Swamp, we go. I think the first cave I want to do is actually going to be at the Red Obelisk. Oh, another thing I should do is I should set up a bed for myself at some of these outposts. Not that it's really that important, but... I think I have a couple extra beds from drops, and I might as well use the darn things, right? There we go. All right, we're back here. And then how are we doing here? So that's fine. All right, so let's get a couple baryonics out here and see what they can do. Let's get out. Well, let's do... I forget exactly... <laughs> I forget exactly everything, I think what's happening ooh I okay, almost fell off the ledge here alright so we got two pink and two green looks like and let's grab this berry or not berry, deodon a uh, pink deodon with no saddle unfortunately huh, whatever okay um, and then so 
Oh, you got a whole bunch of points to put in because we haven't done anything with you. Um, I think 10,000 is plenty health. So let's go. We're just going to level up two of these right now. Handsome Hank, hello. Welcome. Green Bean says make sure you have plenty of grappling hooks. Very good advice. Um, so we'll do that right after we level these guys up. All right. So we got put 10,000 points into health. And let's do... What's the stamina? 1755. Five. I think that should be plenty. So we're going to do 10,000 and then whatever. So that is a male. Let's do a female here. We can find one. We should have one female. There we go. And you only have one point. Did you not level up? Figure it out yet? You've got to have more than one point. Uh, let's turn this back on. Okay, you're busted for some reason. What about you? You're also busted. Okay, I bet you it's just displaying wrong. Let's, let's grab them and then toss them out of the cryopod again. That doesn't make sense. So these were my latest and greatest um, baryonics. So they have 16 mutations. So we had, uh, so these came from Trav. This is Trav's line. And then, so it had 55 points into melee. Now we've got 16 points <coughs> worth of mutations into melee. And then uh, we got, what, four points into health for mutations out of 52. So these things are pretty darn good. And for some reason... They didn't gain XP in cryopods? Oh my gosh. So this one did. It gained 50 some points. And these guys have been sitting around for over a month. And they haven't, <laughs> they haven't gotten anything. Oh, that's terrible. So here I am thinking I'm going to have these are super badass baryonics and they didn't do anything they've been sitting around in a cryopod for a month they should all have 58 points oh that blows oh well i'm not sure what happened there so i guess we'll just put these away um and then let's get the pass oops let's get the passive healing going on you right away uh always do that there we go and then we'll get you put away and uh, let's put some of that in there and try not to fall off the edge here. Oh man, we totally got robbed. Uh, they're gaining ex passive XP now, but they weren't. Oh uh, man, that is terrible. Oh well, what you gonna do? So like my other baryonics are way better No, they. I put zero points into their XP. So if you look here, you've got this guy here. Zero, 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 zero. I've never put a point into anything. Now they're gaining XP. Oh, well. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and put these guys in here and see kind of by the end of the day to see if they're still getting passive XP. So if they have like three or four points um, to put into, then they're working now. But they didn't work before. Um, usually it only takes like 30 seconds. Oh, and uh, no, it's not giving up time because it. I just watched them go get one uh, XP um, point. So it went from one to two, which is pretty crazy. I don't know. We'll see if maybe it'll catch up or something later. I, I don't think so. It makes no sense to me. Okay. So I need a little bit more shotgun ammo and I need to make grappling hooks. So uh, let's do that. Let's look for a shotgun ammo. Do I have any shotgun ammo? I got tons of shotgun ammo here. Okay. Let's grab this guy. We'll just take a hundred with us then. Then we'll do a uh, crossbow. Yeah, we'll just bring a regular old crossbow. I think we'll leave the sniper rifle back. Eh, we'll bring it along. 
It's not going to take up too much weight, I don't think. We're going to bring the better one along, though. And we'll bring this ammo. Actually, we're starting to get pretty pretty overloaded with weight. Some of that is these baryonic saddles, though. Do, do, do. I don't need to bring the chain side, I don't think. All right. Oh, we filled this thing up. Okay, so that's good. I need the grappling hooks. So I need some stone arrows for that. Grab this guy, and then should... I think it's just stone arrows. May not have learned that since the last mind wipe. Oh, here we go. There, we'll just go ahead and make all of them. For those of us, uh, for those of you just joining the live stream, welcome. We're gonna do some cave runs here in a minute on Scorched Earth. These things are heavy. I don't think we're gonna need that many. Uh, let's bring a bunch of them. We can put a couple of them in the vault while we wait. I don't need to hold on to all this fish meat. So let's put that away. Should be good. I don't need to bring all these cryopods too. Unfortunately, almost every time I hatch out um, wyverns, they fall through the floor. And then I've got to pick up the foundations, and that's why that looks terrible. Okay, so where are we at here with healing this guy up? This guy is already all healed. Okay, I'll take that. Disable passive healing, and then we better check our feeding trough over here. Make sure it's got plenty of food, because the pig's probably going to eat a bunch of it. Right, how's the pig's food level? Actually, the pig's food level's... That is weird. I can't believe it healed up that fast. Odd. Anyway, so let's put you back in a cryopod and head over to the cave and see what happens. All right. Put a grappling hook in here. We're going to want to have some weight. And I don't think we're going to need um, oxygen to do this one. Like, you know, a uh, scuba tank or whatever. Can we move around? Alright, so we're doing 320 damage. And I think this is the one, right? Okay. Well, we've got plenty of weight. So let's see if we can find something off this way. What's over there? It's Carno. Worried about cap rows. I don't want to get cap rowed right away. Let's take a look. Do, do, do. Hopefully we can make it through all these things without scuba tank. Oh, this is going to be a little bit more trickier than I thought. Does it actually go down or does it, where does it go? All right. I think I see it down there. All right, let's grab some oxygen and then we'll head back down. You know, since we got teleporters. Oh, I'm not going to die here, am I? <laughs> uh, come on, get back up. And we're going to make it. Okay, cool. Since we got teleporters, I might as well just grab some Lazarus chowder. <clears throat> So we'll grab some Lazarus chowder. That'll reduce our oxygen supply, and then we don't have to worry about oxygen. Or oxygen. So let's get back to the base real quick, if I can. Let me through. There we go. All right. Oh, I really should fix this panel over here. This looks dumb. Let's fix that thing. That doesn't look very professional. There we go. All right, so we'll put that back. Quick go back to our main base here and go grab that thing. Laz Laz and by thing, I mean Lazarus chowder. Lazarus chowder. Am I saying Lazarus? 
Hey, these guys hatched. Ooh, we got triplets. Ah, nice. So, I can't remember why we hatched you out. Oh, you guys were just to get the better base stats. That's right. And then, how are we doing here? Oh, we hatched out. Okay. So, you had, uh, what is this, 42 stamina. So, it was only a 160, but it's got the best stamina possible. <laughs> Not possible, but really good stamina. So, we're going to change your name. To Stam 42. And then you, what the heck were you again? Melee 39. We'll probably find something better than 39 melee, but there we go. Do that. Let's get you guys in cryopods then. Ooh, we're running low on cryopods. All right. So that's good. And then I guess we'll probably just kill these other guys over here. These other 180s. There's three of them. Or the other two. Okay. So those guys will go in there. And we'll be saving them for a later date for breeding. You. You. And then I'll have to get rid of you. Do, do. Oh, yesterday, too. I forgot to mention. But I got... Killed my first Alpha Wyvern. So that was pretty exciting. So I got a new refrigerator over here. With 50 milk. So that's pretty cool. Very excited about that. Now I don't have to worry about that situation. Okay, so we're going to go for Lazarus Chowder. Should have some of that. If not, we can make it. No, we can't make it because we need honey. But we've got a bunch from drops, so that's good. Okay, what's the other thing we need? Let's load up our grappling hooks. Oh, I just wanted to put some stuff away. That was all I wanted to do. Put those things away. And this chainsaw, we don't really need to bring that along. Okay. Now we can use our teleporter again. And I don't remember exactly how much. All right, let's just drop this off. Get this food on you, buddy. There we go. Don't remember how much this reduces the oxygen consumption, but it is definitely worth doing 150 Argentavis and eh, it's only got 30 points into health pretty handy uh, level though sitting there somehow I picked up some stone and sand all right now let's head down Come on, light. Come on, lighting effects. I think I would definitely need some scuba gear if I was doing this without a dino of some kind. Come on, go down. This guy does not want to go down. Jeepers. Come on. Or how do I get... There we go. All right. As soon as I find some oxygen, I'll gamma up here. Sink. <laughs> Sink Baryonyx. All right, I think we must be off this way, I hope. Oh, something. I see oxygen coming my way. Oh, spin. No? Okay. All right, made it this far, I guess. Oh, this is kind of a pain in the butt. This is like a baryonyx trap. That's what this is. So, gamma up is promised. I'm kind of stuck here. I'm just curious to see. Oh, 
Okay. It's like, wait a minute. I can't move. Oh, we are making it through. All right, we made it through. <laughs> Suddenly it released me. I don't know what was going on there, but we got it figured out. Pixie Cat, hello. Dire. There we go. Welcome. Okay, so this is the first time I've really been in here. So I have nowhere to go. So there's no artifact in here as far as I know, but there are some loot drops apparently. So we will go see if we can find some loot. Oh man, how am I going to find... There's a loot crate right there. It's a blue one. You know what I'm going to do? Because I have a feeling I'm going to get lost. So let's go not this way. Let's go this way. Uh, waypoints. Waypoints. We're going to add one right where we are right now. And so I'm just going to call this open. So we'll see. Hopefully. Go back to that quick. Did it actually work? Yeah. Where did it go? Oh, I turned off waypoints. Derp. There we are. So that's working. Okay. Because I feel like I'm going to get turned around. Okay, so can I hop all the way over there? Looks a little closer off this way. I did it. Okay. It's not a real good, not some real good loot over here, but we'll grab it. Maybe we'll get a better spawn, better loot spawn. Please let me in. Apparently I have to harvest all the bugs around first. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Six Trank Arrows. Hey, Dyer, thanks for subbing. Thank you very much for subbing with Prime. Nice, nice. Much appreciated with on uh, Twitch over there. So, yeah, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can uh, sub over there um, once a month for free, which is very helpful. All right. So I have no idea where I'm going. Ooh, a mantis. We're going to take the high road for as long as we can, which looks like it's not much longer. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that was not much of a baryonyx. Or, ah, anic. Go. Did you take damage? I don't think so. Ah, rock golem. So, what's the health on you guys? Yeah, that's just annoying. Is it, did it go up that fast? No, it didn't. Yeah, okay. I was just kind of curious to see how much fighting we could do with that guy. Alright, let's start down low then. Anything else going on down here that's interesting? just not worth fighting the rock columns we could probably defeat a couple of them but it would just take f oh no there we go anything else going on whoa i didn't expect to see an electric eel down here trying to stun me i'll stun you i'm a baryonyx There we go. Michael, good morning. Doing my first cave run today. So apparently this one has no artifacts. Uh, I just want to drop regular raw meat here. Oops. Try that again. Uh, something's after me. What's after me? Wolf? I don't want to. Well, whatever. So far, the um, desert loot crates that I've found 
have all been absolute trash. I think I got maybe one thing that was okay. All right. Ooh, that goes down, and it's packed with eels. All right, let's go down here. Spin. All right. That was easy enough. Let's see if we can actually go down this little tube here. See if I can actually see anything. It's just freaking eels everywhere. All right, I can't see anything. So, what would be better than a Baryonyx in this situation? All right, we're gonna go up top here, grab some oxygen, and we're gonna drop some of this garbage. All right. Uh, pains me, but I think I'm just gonna dump all the polymer. And then I'm going to dump these berries as well. I don't need those. Don't really need to be bringing that stuff along. All right, let's see if we can get back down again. <laughs> the desert drops love spawning on dinos that don't give it a scorched. <laughs> All right. Uh, one is behind the waterfall to the left of the entrance. Okay, I'll have to check that out next time. I just caught that green bean. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on down. All right, is there anything down here other than death? Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything at all down here. It looks really cool. I'm guessing there's a loot crate that spawns here occasionally. How's my oxygen? My oxygen is really good, so. There's a bag. Electric eel bag fell down here somehow. I'll just swim around down here and see if there's anything. I've got the oxygen. I only got 60 seconds left on this first, uh, first chowder. All right, let's head back out of here then. Looks cool. It is hard to go up and down with these berries, though. Jesus. <laughs> Come on. All right, screw this. Let's... <laughs> this doesn't seem like something that would be a very good uh, thing to do, uh, you know, for a wild creature. It seems like a way that... Uh, no wonder why baryonyx went extinct, is what I'm trying to say. All right. So hopefully I just don't get my face ripped off now. There we are. Okay, we're back. All right. Which way did we come in here? I think we came in th the opposite way here. So we should uh, go look around this way. So you said, oh, to the... <coughs> Okay. Ugh. I fell down. Get up there. There we go. And our Lazarus chowder burned out, so I'm going to take that before I forget about it. Also give this guy back his food. Alrighty. Don't... This is another waterfall? It is another waterfall. Whoa! Mantis. That looks really menacing with that outline. Alright. Spiders. So there's something up there. I wonder if it's worth taking a peek. Piranhas. All right. So let's do that. Let's go up there. We'll leave our baryonyx behind for right now. Oh, there is a loot drop up here. 
crazy. I took fall damage just now. <laughs> Look at that. A yellow desert loot crate over here. Supply crate. Uh, we got uh, totally awesome leather gauntlets. 58.9. Uh, yeah. For uh, to do armor. 138 durability. And 19 stone. That, that was not worth burning a grapple for. Oh, shoot. Now I've got to get back down here without taking too much fall damage. So let's do this. There, that's better. We had to burn two grapples. Wow. 19 stone. I guess you guys are... Uh, Really, really jealous about my my luck so far. We've got this uh, Lymantria saddle of 54 and 19 stone and a crazy blueprint. This is a really cool looking cave, though. I don't know. I don't know if this is uh, normal loot quality for for this cave or not. look down here for stuff did I just get cap road kind of I guess I got to get back on this guy cuz I'm pretty vulnerable in my little cloth armor it's good cloth armor excellent cloth armor but I'm still fairly vulnerable down here can I get up here is there anything now there's more stuff up there, so we should probably take a grapple and see if we can get up there. I swear they built this place so that baryonyxes aren't very good. All right, I guess I'm going to have to leave you in the water, buddy. All right. See if there's anything up here. I don't think there is... Yeah, it doesn't look like that goes anywhere. Anything over there? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right. Can I? Yeah. Release. I'm not so used to using... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not so used to using uh, grappling hooks. Time to dial up the loot quality on the server. I think the loot is really good out of like the regular airdrops or whatever you want to call them. I think the loot loot quality is pretty decent there, but the loot crates are garbage. I would if I could just do the loot crates, I would think about doing it, but I don't want to give like stupid good you know, insane quality loot. But I totally, it is totally within the realm of possibility of being able to do it. But I've heard everybody, I've heard a couple of people online, I haven't been paying a ton of attention, but just that the, uh, the desert loot crates, which used to be like, apparently kind of overpowered on regular Scorched Earth, um, or, you know, Ark Survival Evolved, and now they're just like complete trash. All right, let's see where we can end up going here. Let's dump all this. But it's kind of, it's, it's too bad. All right. I would like to find another uh, loot crate or two to see if, if it actually is that bad. Hopping around here on a Baryonyx is, that's yeah, not too terrible. All right, where did the main entrance go? Oh, there it is, open. So it's up that way. Okay. So I have no idea where I've been. <laughs> I don't think, I'm, I haven't been here before. Bean's been getting good loot, all, all keeping it all to herself. <clears throat> 
up on the ledge. I don't know if I'm keeping up quite fast enough with with uh, the loot is fine on the surface. It's just the caves. I've watched someone else get stones in several cave drops. I mean, that happens, but like a lot of times it's like you get actually something good and you don't even really realize that, you know, that you got stone or something stupid like that. All right. I think we were just down there. You said up on the ledge. Maybe it's that ledge. Hmm. Kind of feel like this cave might be better on foot and just a ton of grapples like Green Bean was saying. I don't see anything. Can I? Can't really do much here. I suppose I could go into photo mode, but I'm not going not gonna to do that, I don't think. Eh, what the heck? I never use photo mode. I don't even know how to freaking do it. It's I haven't... Ugh. Sometimes I'm embarrassed. Toggle photo mode. All right, let's go this way. I really should be using this for... Oh, I'm toggled. Can I go further? Can I go up? I can't really go up. Not seeing anything. Should be using photo mode for my thumbnails and stuff, but I've been a little lazy because it's just, um, here, uh, resume. How do I get out of photo mode? There, toggle it, derp. Anyway, I've just been making, I've just been doing live streams and I don't, feel like I need to do really fancy thumbnails for live streams. Okay, can I get through here? We got through here. There we are. All right. Behind the waterfall up on the ledge, I took my thigh and got a and a bunch of grapples. Behind the waterfall up on the ledge. Okay. Let's look up here. Let's see if we get up here. All right. Unfortunately, there's just waterfalls everywhere. So it's like behind the waterfall and there's like 100 waterfalls. And then I don't re read the thing until it's like a little too late. So <laughs> like I'm a little behind. All right. Oh, there's this guy. I guess I'm just going to wander around here and see what I've got. But, but it sounds like Green Bean's been finding some good stuff. So it must be possible. Well, that's why I'm slow is because I've been... Been netted. Okay. You know, and I only found two drops so far, so it's uh, it's too really too soon to tell about the loot quality. Oh no 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 no! Uh, I think that was too late. No, I didn't take. Whoa, rock golems. I hate getting lost in caves during live streams as well. Well, this guy can really got some knockback here. Like, am I not taking any damage at all? Okay, I'm only taking three damage. Now I feel like killing this guy. I'm going to go for it. See what we actually get. Oh, we do need really fancy thumbnails. <laughs> yeah, I would like to, but I don't know. I'm just too lazy, I guess. That's the thing about, I think a lot of people don't realize about being a content creator, at least like a really good one, is the amount of skills that you need in order to be the best of the best, it's, there's quite a lot of skills. <laughs> as far as like graphic design, video editing, and then a lot of people have like a team also. They have somebody either doing their thumbnails, 
um, doing their video editing. They might have another person in game being a camera. There. Die. Am I getting anything from him? No. Probably need to use a pick. Let's see if we get anything using a pick. Let's see if we can get out of there. That, you're not doing anything. Am I getting anything? Yeah, we're getting stone, sulfur, and X. Oh, look at all the stuff we're getting from this guy. We're getting crystal, metal, obsidian, oil, not fish meat, stone, and sulfur. I think all, this is all we're getting here. Wow. Or have a friend that has some of the skills you don't. Yeah, I'm fair at all of it. There we go. We got rid of that guy. And I'm completely overburdened, which makes sense. Uh, that's a lot of obsidian, actually. So we're just going to dump it all, unfortunately. But that's a kind of a good way to actually get some of those raw materials. If you have something that can actually defeat those rock golems. All right. So I don't remember where the heck anything is anymore, where we've been or what's going on. So I think we're going to head out of here and do one of the artifact caves. I am so glad. <laughs> so glad I marked the opening of this thing, though. All right. Because it would have been bad otherwise. Still might be bad. All right, so our opening is over here somewhere. Is there anything up here? Oops, didn't mean to double tap here. Oh, the opening is up there yet. All right, well. Weird. Um, how the heck? All right. Okay, our opening is up there. So somehow we still have to get up there. Or no, I'm just being silly. It's over here. It's just the, uh, the marker doesn't know the elevation is the thing, right? Is that the problem? I think I'm in the right spot. It's just the marker doesn't know the elevation. This is so weird. So it might actually be down here. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. All right, take our Lazarus chowder. Oh, I can't do it while swimming. So let's get up here. There we are. And I'm just going to forget about the Baryonyx for right now. What's that thing? Piranha. Shoot. Am I just that slow? I think I am just that slow. Okay. There. Let's get up here. Hire all that stuff out. Yeah, I don't have any money. <laughs> I'd have to pay somebody like a dollar an hour. Well, that's one way to do it. All right, let's get the Baryonyx out here because good chance of being ambushed. There we go. All right, so let's go back. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gamma. Gamma 2. And then I got to catch up with uh, stuff here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. It's weird that the Anki and Doa don't have super high damage against the Golems. Yeah, it seems like they should do extra damage, I think, so. All right. 
So that's kind of a thing. I'll have to explore that some more, probably on my own, rather than just being. T you, do you really want to do this? Jeez, 145. I forget. You know, when you're level one, sabers are a real problem. But I forget just how crappy they are. <laughs> What's going on over here at my base, my outpost? This is no, no cool. Not cool. Everybody dies. There. Hey, our guy got a level. That's going into melee. All right, so I still got some fish meat. Let's get you out of the cryopod situate. Or, oh, you just took damage. So then we'll wait a second, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and do one of the other caves and at least get an artifact and see how that goes. How's my... Uh, we need to repair this stuff while we're waiting for that guy to not be damaged so it can be recryopotted. Let's grab some fiber here and repair at least one. Maybe our chest piece and our leggings if we can. Uh oh. Damn, there's a Morella Tops in my building. Get out of there, baby Morella Tops. <laughs> Are you still butt beat up? No, you're not. I think I just got bumped. All right, so let's get in here real quick. Oh, I'll just show you one of my bases that I built. I built a cool outpost here for the Craig. I don't want to do the Craig right now. Craig, rather. I keep saying Craig. Craig. There we go. So I made this little outpost over here. I kind of went and got a little fancy. Did it make any beer? It did make some beer. Let's drop all these berries off over here just for fun. There we go. Put those berries in there. So I made a little outpost. This would be a good place for somebody to refine some metal if they needed to. There's some spoiling bins and some other stuff in here just kind of for fun. And then we've got water everywhere. We've got it all lit up for night. Do we have anything good over there? Uh, not particularly. Well, I don't have any bear traps, I don't think. Anyway, I got this uh, all set up here, too. And the entrance is just right in there for the crag. Not the crag. Oh. We're going to need to defeat this uh, saber tooth here. Actually... Let's see if we can go for headshots. Bloop! That's fine. You eat that guy. This is actually right near my base. I forgot that it was so close to my base. Little baby. Hello, little baby. We'll take that with us. All right. So I like my little base over here. Western skins are so cool looking. Yeah, they are. So these are actually, I haven't used any skins on here. This is all just uh, the Western uh, versions. So I guess that they're not skinned. I mean, they are, they are skins in a way, I guess. I don't know. If that makes sense? <laughs> uh, right. So they are part of that pack, adventure pack or whatever they're calling it. Let's do uh, this guy here. Let's see how well this one goes. So I got another little outpost over here. The adobe, yeah, the adobe's cool. I like, I like this cave a lot. And then I think we got to get up there. Is that right? How do you get up there? That's silly. I guess we'll just. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I don't need to be carrying all this stuff with me. So we can come back for it. And if I forget it, it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, I did um, want to repair a couple of things here, if possible. How much fiber do I need? <clears throat> Just a handful more. So let's 
see if I can actually harvest this and clean this up. Not really. Or at least it's a pain in the butt, so I'm not going to do it. What? What? That is the bloodiest free dead. What level was this thing? 135. It must have had like five health left. Hello, little baby raptor. Um, okay. Grab a little bit more fiber. So I can repair at least one piece. Let's do that then. Okay, so repair. And then you're going to need... Wow, that's a lot. I guess I should have brought a uh, sickle with me or something. All right, let's drop this other crap off like I said. Drop that off. I don't need that. And then, like I said, if I forget that stuff, who cares? All righty. I think it's up here. Isn't the entrance up here? Yeah, it is up here. Oh, I mean, I think I'll add a ladder or something over here. All right, shotgun time. What was this? Who just dropped? <laughs> I guess somebody must have just been through here. For some, why would there be... How much flint is that? Some Something... Oh, it's a facile as... Oh, okay. Somebody was just through here. So maybe I should go somewhere else. Eh, who cares? Oh, it's super hot. Somebody must have been in here. That's okay. All I really want is uh, artifact anyway. I'm going to eat some of this curry, because why not? There. That's nice. Probably actually didn't need to gam up then. Uh, let's go take a right. I always take rights when I go into a cave to start out with. I'm starving to death. There we go. I'm stuck. What the frickin' heck? How did I do that? Can I have you follow me out of there? That would be preferable, I guess. I think you might be stuck, unless I bust this rock. There we go. Now I should be able to walk out of here. That's better. All right. Ooh, let's go to the right again. Uh, okay, we're up here now. Oh, shoot. I'm going to be all confused one more time. Oh, boy. I'm going to be all confused on how to get out of here again. All right. I think I'm going back to the entrance. I really should mark this entrance as well. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. All right, so map, waypoints, add. I forget what actual artifact this is here, so I'll just change this later. All right, so main base, Craig, open, and then, uh, yeah, I want to do this one. There we go. Did that work? All right, Craig's still on there, but that's fine. All right, back down we go. So if we do get this artifact, it'll be our first artifact. Dyer leaves a trail of flint wherever he goes. Hey! Just trying to read chat here. Stupid rock golem. Just want to make sure I got my fish meat back in there. 
Everything respawns really quickly, especially in the caves. <laughs> That's you, yeah, okay. All right. Like, where is all this flint coming from? Yeah, as long as the artifact spawns back pretty quick. But, so we only have three artifacts for this, so I should be ready to do the mana core really, really soon. How's my stamina? Stamina is just fine. Cool lighting effects. Oh, there's is that a drop? It is. Okay. Speaking of drop. Artifact is back. Cool. Can I make this jump? Okay. Where did you? <laughs> okay. I don't know where you went temporarily. Oh! Yay, we did it. Oh, that's garbage too. I mean, for a red drop, that's garbage. I'm close. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff down there. Yeah, I think I see it. I kind of want to take, oh, I see Dyer down there. I hear shooting. Luckily, I don't have to worry about it because this isn't PvP. Dyer's clearing everything out for me. Hello. I know you're listening, but I'll say hello anyway. All right, so let's make our way back down here. Or make our way down here. I can hear the artifact. Didn't bring an otter, so we can only grab one. It's all kinds of dead stuff down here. Dyer has cleared the path. <laughs> uh, okay. I can kind of hear it and see it up there. I think I can. I must have missed it. That's all right. We'll get it. I'm not concerned. All right, so I think it spawns up like on a pedestal or something, doesn't it? Yeah, it's up there. There. It looks like a loot crate, but it's not. Oh yeah, we got a skin. Oh yeah, and I got a couple of good, I got a, the Manticore helmet skin from the Alpha Wyvern. And what else did I get? The skin for the uh, Alpha Wyvern gauntlets. Which I think I should change to, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Hello. They're just shooting everything. It's a murderer up there. So that was pretty easy with uh, Dire Clear in the way, but it wouldn't have been much of an issue for us, I don't think. I just got to figure out how to get back up there. Or did I miss something over here? Let's just zip over this way. No, I did miss something over here. Oh, yeah, I just got to make the hop. Let's see if... Whoa, no! <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, that's pretty good. All right, so the Baryonyx is a win for here. Pretty simple. And we might as well do the other cave then. Um, or one of the other caves, I should say. Maybe we'll find a good loot crate. Okay, I'm pretty sure we walked through here last time. There we go. So pretty uneventful. We'll go do the one out in the desert. Um, by the ruins. Go check that one out. Then maybe we'll do the cra uh, Craig. 
I like the lighting effects in here. They're pretty cool. All right, so I think we're going this way. Yep. Pretty nice. We have made it through. Can we walk through here? I think we can, right? Yep. Very good. I should have... <laughs> yeah, I need to put a ramp up here or something. Oh, it's a sandstorm. Lovely. Okay, so we'll grab our fish meat again. Grab this, 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 and drop all this business. There we go. The only thing I'm wondering is if these teleporters work. Um, in an electrical storm. Wow, this is a craziness. All right. Okay, let's get you in a cryopod, although you just took damage from falling, so are you not going to go in here? Nope, you work for fall damage. Okay. All right, so let's get in here. Do, 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 do. So, okay, so I'm going to take this back, this back, and then we'll leave this here in case anybody needs it. Be a little generous. Not real generous. <laughs> but we'll be a little generous. Some of these guys. Actually, let's do the berries here. Grab all the berries. Fiber can go back in here. Because we got a freezer box over here. So let's put all the berries in there. There. And then anything else we need? We're pretty good. I'm never going to use this Equus saddle, so somebody can have that. Although probably people on the server are too polite to actually take it. And then this is... Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to do something here. So this was the artifact of the gatekeeper. So let me change that on here. Oh, I'm thirsty. Hold on. Do I have a... There. It's a tap. I hear Dyer. All right, so let's see here. This is this guy. Hey, Dyer, go ahead. I'm going to go out to the... Where am I going to go out to? I'm going to go out over here. I forget what artifact that is, but I'm going to grab that one. And then I need to... Yeah, change my waypoint name. Two should be this guy, I think. So that gatekeeper. Right? Did that work? Yep, gatekeeper. Okay, so Dyer's all. What was on that? Going to check those on these baby Rexes. Okay. Cool. All right, so we're going to go over to this guy, to the ruins. And here we are. Looks pretty good. So gate is over this way somewhere. So let's go do that. Do, 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 do. Here we go. They changed the entrance to this quite a bit in uh, Ark Survival Ascended. I think we, there might be a choke point up ahead. Haven't done this since they've actually... Since Ark Survival evolved. So we'll see how this goes. Haven't done any of the caves, so it's pretty nice to get to explore this. Okay. So this one, this one, we're gonna have to fight our way through. I don't think Dyer was just through. Titan bow coming through the floor. I don't think Dyer was through this one just a second ago. So do this. This guy doesn't have a whole lot of weight, so we're probably gonna have to be doing a lot of dumping. 
some levitating snakes. So we'll probably just be ignoring rock golems here. Ooh, a 145 megalania. If anybody wants some megalania here, we got a wild with 31 health. So that's pretty nice. What was the melee 25? Eh, it's okay, but yeah, right over here underneath all these guys, there's a wild megalania 145. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff down that way. All right, how's everything with me? I think I'm doing pretty well. Let's go this way instead. Whoa! <laughs> Everybody coming out of the floor. Not fair. Oh, 1,200 in the headshot. You know what? This is, might be actually a pretty good way to get... Polymer? We don't need any Titan Bow Venom. Should be a real good way to get... Uh, Chitin. Yeah, that was a lot of bats. Yeah, I'm going to try to leave that Megalania for anybody. I know some people were talking about Megalania um, in chat a while ago. Uh-oh. I have broken my hat. I have broken my pants. Where did you come from? Two of them. And there goes some other stuff. Wow. I got a whip. I got a bunch of swords. Um, I broke all my cloth stuff. That's not cool. Let's see if we can carry some of this polymer out. Really don't need that much of it. But we'll bring it anyway. Eat that. Okay. Well, there goes the claw shirt. Okay, I am have to watch my health though, because these guys can actually damage me. Actually, I don't know if they can damage me now that all my armor's broken. It's a weird thing with these guys. All right. <laughs> Gotta keep doing this. Uh, I might as well take a Lazarus Chowder because that increases your health recovery. So I'll do that. That's what they say anyway. I haven't gotten sickness yet. Hey, there's a drop. Let's see if we get anything good. I think we get swords from the mantises. Ah, oh, look at all that poly. Ooh, here we go. Ramshackle treasure map. Nice. All right, I think we're safe for now. Got to be real careful. 353 damaged um, club. Now, I don't need a club at all, but that's more like it as far as loot crates, loot goes. All right. Maybe I should pump Wade into one of my... One of my Baryonics so I can just collect all this freaking poly. Uh, ooh, there's a, re there's a red drop. Let's see if we get anything good out of that one. 
mean, sometimes you just get s skunked with... Uh... Oh, that guy did some damage. Oh, you want to go then, do you? Oh, this is going to take a week. Let's just go around. Can we go around this way, or do we have to go the other way? All right. I just need to drop some weight before I think about making that jump. We are going to have to dump some of this stuff, I think. Not cool rocks. Yeah, don't get knocked off. Can they knock you off your saddle? Uh. Whoa, that's close. Oh, boy. There we go. Curious to see what's in that red drop. Red loot crate. I guess it's technically not a drop, right? Anybody else around here? Oh, we got a dude coming in. Oh, look at that. 607.9% Ascendant Flamethrower. Wow. 7,646 Polymer. <laughs> All right. And we got a Mantis Saddle, a 116 Blueprint. That's pretty nice. Now, those are some, that's some real loot, that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's some real freaking loot right there. See, I always think, I always thought of Scorched Earth having really good loot. I don't know, I don't have a whole lot of use for a 607% damage flamethrower, I guess, other than maybe taming a uh, phoenix, yeah. But uh, because of the polymer, all of the polymer situation, it wouldn't be horrifying to try to get that much polymer. Especially if I actually collected it here. Oh, screw off. I ain't got time for you. All right, let's grab this thing real quick. Oh my gosh, when did this guy take so much damage? You barely like took, oh wow, did that spawn back in already? No. When the heck did you take so much damage? I didn't like have fall damage, did I? Because all of a sudden he took like 7,000 damage. <laughs> Alum rocks did that? I thought it was like 500 damage. He didn't take that many, did he? Wow. That's something. Well, we're going to definitely avoid that situation. I think we're just going to avoid fighting now if we can. Get the heck out of here. Definitely don't want to lose this guy. We are going to have to fight for this red drop, though. How's the health doing? Seems like he's taking extra damage. Well, see, now this is not great. I don't really have much of a way of healing you up, buddy. All right, let's drop all this meat. I guess we only got three cooked fish meat, so let's see if we can get the heck out of here. I just gave you more damage. All right. <clears throat> oh, man, everything respawned, too. All right, so we're going to have to not be so stupid about this, I think. Okay, we're okay. Because we're on a sliver of health for this guy.
actually use the shotgun. That's why we brought it, right? And I'm naked, so I gotta be careful for that too. Ugh. So we came from this side, so let's try not to aggro that stuff. Ugh, this is bad news. Okay. Come on, die. There we go. Glad I didn't uh, eat the polymer by mistake. All right, <clears throat> let's reload our shotgun. I hear something. That snake is dead. fish meat now some I got agro music on me but so it must be something on the oh my gosh so a megalania 45 you can eat that thing well where did that guy come from I think we're almost, I think we're going to be okay. What's my health? Oh, it's only a thousand. I think this thing's taking extra damage. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to be. Probably stupid about it, but. I wish. How's my? I got plenty of ammo. I think I'm gonna be okay. Ugh, probably not taking extra damage. I'm just. Probably just being dumb. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting any more fish meat in here. I stuck on something. I mean, I got a thousand health. That's pretty good. I feel like my saddle's broken or something. Okay, we're going to try to, I think that's where that Megalania is, the 145. So we're going to try to avoid aggroing that thing because I want to save it for other people to tame. Yeah, there's a bunch of nasty stuff down there. So uh, the shotgun is like... Three hundred and sixty percent damage or something. It's pretty good. Cause I'm not okay, I don't see any damage numbers to myself. Whoa. See that we're only taking five damage there. Die. Do I have another down on my cryo? No. I should have brought an extra, should have brought one of the other berries. Not you, but you. 
Yeah, but see, back there we took like several hundred damage, but the damage numbers did not show several hundred damage. They sold like 10 damage. I don't know if they'll go back and look. Now I'm curious to see. See what's what. All right. I think, I think we're clear. I think I made it. Yeah, I left all the other dinos back at home. So we're fine. We just did it smart. We did it with the shotgun. But we're going to have to test this out and see if, if for some reason it is taking extra damage or something. I have no idea. I could be just insane here. All right, let's take this stuff. So that's a good haul of poly. Anything else worth bringing home? Not really. Okay. Just crashed in the Craig cave. Getting attacked. Yay. <laughs> uh, like, we made it. All right. Make sure we're not going to get ambushed here. I am dying of heat. So here's one of our other outposts. But we're definitely going to need a different Baryonyx for the Craig. Which I spelled Craig, by the way, not Craig. <laughs> Oops. All right, well, we got two or three artifacts, so that's good. Let's drop all that stuff off. I need to put on a... I don't have a vault. I need to put down a vault. I think I have one. So let's do that. Hey, Green Bean lived, even though with the crash. Yeah, I had built extra vaults for the thing. So let's do that real quick. Uh, I'll put it over here for now. I'll probably end up moving this at some point. Uh, there's a juvenile poison wyvern over there because I forgot to have... Uh, I'll just stick it over here. Well, I didn't really mean to do that. I must not have turned egg collection back on. All right. So let's put our good stuff over here. We got to actually turn off the auto business here. Um, there we go. Exclude structures. Well, I guess I'll have to. There it is. So we'll exclude structure that. Confirm. Close that up. How's my health? My health is fine. All right, so we got a couple artifacts now. A bunch of broken stuff. Um, all right, so let's dump this off here. Uh, okay. So that's pretty good. What's going on out here, by the way? Let's turn this back on. Enable that. Uh, there we go. All right, so let's get this guy back out here. Turn you on passive healing. So what do you guys think? Am I just being stupid about the whole taking extra damage thing with that Baryonyx? Or, or what? Or was it I was just going in there, guns blazing, and didn't realize how much damage I was taking? Either way, I, th I, I could see it going either way. Um, just not paying close enough attention. I got to turn on this other dude here. Can we get over here, please? Thank you. Okay, there's one. All right. But there's some weird stuff going on with my baryonyx, that's for sure. All right, let's take a look at these berries and see if magically they have done anything different. So if you're just tuning in, I went back to the island. I pick up these baryonyx that I had raised up um, about a month ago now in preparation for doing caves in uh, on Scorched Earth. This guy, I threw him out of the cryopod. He had 58 levels to do. And uh, these other three only had one. And so, well, we just need to give these guys a minute, actually, for any leveling up to catch up. Let's 
do this guy. Okay, so let's check this first one. It's at 10, yeah. So it's just gotten 10 levels today. So for whatever reason, when I put these guys, three of three out of the four in the cryopod, they were they did not get any passive XP. So that's really frustrating. So we're going to do all 10 points into health on this guy. Same thing over here. And I think we're going to try to go in on the Craig with a mate boosted pair. Craig. All right. So we got that. Let's grab some water. All right. So let's convert. All this poly over to hard poly. Which is a really, really handy thing to have. So we got one. So we got about 500 poly that we actually kept. So that's good. Uh, let's see. So put that in the fridge. Oh, so one thing you can do actually with these maps, so like here, this thing is going to expire in a day, but if I put it in the refrigerator on the automated arc refrigerator with uh, preserving salts, it is now spoils in 1,987 days. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Does it have something to do with them not belonging? I'm scorched. I don't know. Um, did I shoot the, the guys? I don't know what happened. So we'll see if something similar happens in the artifact of the Craig. Uh, Craig. It just doesn't seem like... Because I've gone through other... Caves with the berries before that had arthros in it, and I've never received that much damage and stuff. So it's just odd. I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's a real thing or not. For my imagination, there's so many weird things that happen with Ark that it is easily just something I am not aware of. I don't think I was shooting it with the shotgun by accident. I do not know though. Maybe we'll figure it out someday. Okay, so now we got our armor again. That's good. That'll keep us cool. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's put a pin code on this guy. There we are. Alright, so I think pending, uh, woo, pending these guys healing up. Then we'll be ready to go. So this guy's already healed up an incredible amount. All right, and you are, yeah, male, and then you're the female, right? If you're healed up, then we're going to bring you along. Do, do, do. Try to take it out, and all I got longer spoil. Also, fresh prime, just noticed today. If you take it, it, were you saying if you take it out of the refrigerator, you get a longer spoil time now? It is, it's possible, but I didn't start shooting until I, I don't know. What do we got here? Yeah, the, the spoil time's the same on this guy. So, alright, gotta drop off this egg. There we go. You know what? And if we probably go out of render distance, that thing will be healed up all the way. I have a feeling. But let's check. We got to check the... Uh, I feel like I'm just stumbling everywhere. We got to check this guy. Okay, we got plenty of food for right now. Everything spoils so fast. Let's just go out of render by using the teleporter. Oh, we got a sandstorm coming anyway. Go check out the Wyvern Trench. Spot. See if we got enough fertilizer in here. 180 fertilizer should be pretty good. 
Oh, there's a Faso dying. He's not going to make it. Let's see if he, uh, he might destroy at least one crop plot. Let's see. Oh, no, the guns got him. <laughs> guns are so much better than the plant species X. All right, let's go back over here. Alter dead. All right, so let's see if that little trick worked. All right, almost healed up. So we got that one. How's your food situation? Let's top off some of that food in the trough and then I think we can head back. We can head over to the crag with the uh, baryonyx. Yeah, he almost made it. All right, I think we'll be okay. There it is. Healing super fast for some reason too. It doesn't seem like it should be healing that fast. So I don't know what's up. Sorry I keep saying that. All right, turn you off. Let's go to the crag. I don't think we need to bring anything else. I think we're ready to roll. Uh, fish meat, actually. We're gonna need fish meat. I did bring fresh meat. There. Okie doke. Okay, so before I forget, let's do this. Go to waypoints. Change the name to the actual word. Get rid of that eye. Boom. Makes me feel better about myself. All right, so we're going to go down here. Again, this would be the first time running this cave in Ark Survival Ascended. So, let's see here. Alright, so we're fully healed. So, 10,628. I'm going to stab you, or I'm going to hit you with this pick. Uh, I don't know how much damage it would have done. So barely any damage. I didn't see hit markers. I was going to see if the hit markers equaled the actual damage. All right. Let's take this slow. See if we can encounter just one thing and see how much damage it does to us and see if that equals the amount of damage because we're all fully healed already. I'm guessing we're going to have a rock golem though show up. Is there anything in here? I guess Bean was just in here, so there might not be too much to worry about. Okay, there's a bat. Oh, you're still in here? All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Bite me. Come on, level 15. Okay, seven damage. I think it something I think it might have hit me twice. Ouch. Okay, that says 20. Which is about right. I think I'm just I think I'm just being weird. I think I'm just being an arc player thinking everything's unfair. <laughs> uh are we okay in here? I think we're okay in here for right now. Yeah, that wasn't fun. 
or wasn't a good thing. There's a lot of dead fish in here. Bean's leaving me dead fish. I guess. Or no, the uh, golem left me some dead fish, so that's nice. All right, so anything down this way? I'll just check for drops. Everybody's clearing out the caves for me today. That's nice. So 91 damage that time. Yeah, I think I was just just not realizing how much damage I was taking. But I'll keep an eye on it. Sulfur. What's that blob? Did you damage your own dino? I may have done that. I'm not really sure. It's just like all of a sudden I just noticed like the guy was just like super bloody. If I shot him point blank... Uh, from like the back which I don't know if we can do but if I did do that he would have taken a ton of damage I don't really remember anymore green beans having some issues down that way anything down here let's go take a peek fishies how's the fish food situation we're pretty good but we'll Miss everything with those spin key. There we go. How much fish meat? Did? Okay. Can I get out of here, please? I'd like some oxygen. There we go. Whoa, what is this party over here? See, in a situation like this where you're mobbed by like 20 guys, it's pretty easy to take a <laughs> ton of damage. There we go. So we've, we still have, but, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we just came down this way, right? Yeah. I just went into the water. So I think we got to go this way. Maybe. I may have gotten myself all turned around again. There we go. Cheater! <laughs> Green bean, what the heck? I'm gonna run ahead. Hey, there's an the artifact. don't keep a car car in my pocket no I don't really keep a car car in my pocket there we go, there we go. all right you can grab the uh, you were here first so you can grab the first artifact that's cool uh, yeah, fall damage might have been a thing too, but I don't remember falling. It's just something I'm going to have to go back and actually check on. We might as well keep this fish meat though. Alright, I'm going to drop. Drop everything else here, see if I can actually take that home with me. So, raw, uh, do this. So we'll wait a second for that. But then we'll have all the artifacts, so we could actually do the Manticore today if we wanted to, but we're not ready for that, so. I don't think it would take too much to do the, uh, the Gamma Manticore. But yeah, we got all three caves done so far, as long as this respawns. We'll just go a little ways away here, maybe. 
I don't think it has anything. I don't think it helps with the spawning or not. Ooh, a 145 Megalosaurus. <coughs> that one has, what was the melee on that guy? 20, so it's not that great. Uh, let's just go out of render real quick. Do 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 do. Saurus. I think I said Saur. I don't know. Whatever. Just run around. It'll spawn back. Some obsidian down here. Some sulfur. Should be an artifact eventually here. <laughs> arc does arc things. Yeah. And also, like I said. There's a lot of weird things that can happen that aren't bugs or whatever. What are these? Oh, it's just crystal. Non-glowing crystal. That's all that is. Do 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 do. Come on, artifact. Spawn in. All right. What's our weight? I'm trying to think if I want to bring anything, try to harvest anything while I'm over here. Joven, uh, how can I install that? Install what? Do, do, do. Welcome to the live stream, by the way. Let me... Stupid artifact, come back. Obviously not a huge deal if it doesn't respawn. I can go get it many times. It's right next to my base, this cave. I'm just going to go a little further. Let's see if it that helps. i got nothing else to do anyway, so. Any loot crates out here? Doesn't look like it. Arc Scorched Earth Ascended. Um, it should just be part of the game. I'm not... There it is. Now it's respawn. So it should just be part of the base game now. And then you can just go to a particular map and stuff. But I'm not sure. Yeah, no problem. No problem for the language. All right. Cool. Got that. Oh, sure. Now we get... Well. <laughs> there we go. Is that... I don't think there's anything up there. Yeah, so I never installed this map. It just installed itself. But I'm playing on PC, so that might have something to do with it. I'm not sure if console works the same. Maybe somebody uh, in the chat knows, can let us know down below. All right. Jump. There we go. And we got some extra fish meat on this trip, so that's good. Just kind of keep an eye out for any loot crates that may have respawned. Dinner time? Yeah, it's lunchtime for me. I'm thinking about breaking for lunch here pretty quick. All right, grab this guy. Creatures are respawning in, obviously. <clears throat> so I'm just going to try to bunch my way back to the entrance and keep an eye out for damage this guy's taking. See, he's taking three damage from that guy. The Capro down there. What is. Oh, there he is. Thought I heard him. Alright. Capro me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. I'll go back and see what the deal is. Doesn't look like I'm going to get lucky with any new loot crate spawns. Uh-oh. Oh, 
little bit of lag going on over here. I don't know why that's all. Why we're lagging. Can I get up here, please? Kind of strange. Let's see if I can actually get on this ledge. There we are. That's better. All right. Okay, I think I have to go this way. Or no, straight across here. There we go. That'll do it. Do, do, do. So you gotta buy the base game of Ark Survival Ascended. And then you should be able to install it. And we're out. Okay, we made it. Can actually climb this guy up here. Nice. And let's grab the poly and the fish meat. Chitin's pretty pretty light. I don't think I have a ton of it, so we need some of that for cementing paste. Take that home with us. So that was pretty easy, but then again, uh, Green Bean did clean out 95% of that cave for me. There we are. Do, 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 do. And back to the base, which is just right there. <clears throat> there we go. Thanks, Trav, for uh, for letting them know there in the in the comments section. All right, so yeah, let's go stop spinning around and we're going to go take this over here, craft that into hard poly. So a good poly run today. And that was the artifact of the Craig. Nice. There we are. Uh, that's gonna work. Sorry, I'm Bill sp spinning around a little too much here. Let's get this guy. I guess actually, could just leave those guys in the cryo. We might as well re cryo these other guys so they actually get some more levels. Oh, I'm so disappointed though. That's you know why I did that. I wanted them to be able to get those 50 levels or whatever. Um, Uh, you gotta buy Ark uh, Survival Ascended. I don't think there's any way of getting it for free. So, yeah. Alright, so let's put this away. I would love a better base, but because we're going, what, we got maybe six weeks left until um, the center comes out. I don't really see much point in fixing my stupid base situation that I've given myself here. Um, by the way, if you do play on the server, um, I am going to be saving um, Scorched Earth here. So if we ever want to come back at some point, our bases and stuff are going to be, you know, I'll be able to download the bases so we are the map is gonna is gonna expire on june 30th but say i don't know next january or something there's some reason that we've got to come back here because you know uh you need to tame something or whatever we could run this map for a week or something like that and then uh you know defeat the mana core and do all that kind of stuff um, but still have our bases here that's the plan anyway um, should be able to do that without too much trouble. All right, let's put uh, these guys where they're going to be safe. Oh, you've got... Oh, you've got Survival Evolved, but you can't buy Scorched Earth. Yeah, those jerks, they took away the ability to buy Scorched Earth with Ark Survival Evolved, and unfortunately... That uh, really stinks. Let's close this up. 
Uh, anyway, but I plan on doing that for all the maps, saving all the maps. We're going to have the maps in rotation, but I can save the maps and then we can uh, start them up again at some point if we ever decide that we want to. How many hours do I have in ARC? I, ARC Survival Evolved, I think I had 5,000 hours or something. Uh, a lot. But certainly people have had <laughs> two or three times that many. <laughs> That's quite a lot of people that have a lot more arc time than I do. All right, let's put away this cooked fish meat. We're gonna wanna keep that. Fish meat is not hard to get in this map, but it is a little obnoxious. And then I think that's gonna do it for today. It's pretty nice outside. I've got some real world gardening to do, so I'm gonna do that. I may be back Tuesday, um, and uh, but I think we'll be back Sunday, next Sunday, and I think we're gonna do the Manticore fight at that point so i hope to see you guys uh hope to see you guys then maybe uh maybe some of us uh will try doing the mana core together i might probably going to try to do the gamma by myself um and see how that goes should be interesting hope to see you guys then have a good sunday